Let me throw this out. Everyone keeps saying this is good for the defense. Is it going to be good for the defense if he's found guilty and sentenced to 40 years? No, of course yeah. not, Vinny, but, but he's got – look, they're going for the – Are you tell, wait, wait, are you telling me tonight that you, you don't think prosecutors can get Chauvin on second degree? I think they have a good case for felony murder, and I'm glad that they filed it as they did. But look, just like any case, there is risk here. We all know that jurors love law enforcement, even Derek Chauvin. So to get those 12 out of 12, there is risk, and sometimes you take – the bird in the hand. And I'm not saying he would have gotten 10 years. The prosecution would have been able to argue for more. He would have gotten at least 10 years. So this is advantage defense. And not only that, if Chauvin walks, the other three officers probably won't be prosecuted at all. So you're going to go 0 for 4. So there's significant risk here with what Bill Barr did. And, and Vinny, uh, you know, to, to that point, if I may, um, oh, you know, I, I think that you have something there. Defense can often, at least in Colorado, bring what's called lesser included offenses. And if you're going through trial and it's not going so hot on the lead charges, sometimes you, you consider asking the jury to find guilty on a lesser included or a lesser offense. And so um, the defense is not going to have that option in this trial. And in that sense, perhaps um, it, it, it limits uh, some of the avenues that they can pursue. Chris, do you think there's a chance that he walks on the top charge? Look, I think there is. I think that there always is this risk. I think that when you look at the history of prosecutions of law enforcement in our country, we don't have a very good track record of convicting them. We just don't. And it's caused some of the greatest civil unrest in well, our nation. Well, let me ask you well. this. Why, why do you think you don't, there isn't a great history? Do you think it's maybe that they're not guilty? Is that possible or no? I think that white cops get away with killing black defendants all the time. And I think that it I think that that it's baked in the system. It just is. Um, I think that any rational person that looks at it understands it. It's it's racism at its core in terms of our criminal justice system. And when white cops kill black uh, defendants, particularly ones with histories of drug abuse, which looks like this is going to get let in in this trial that you have a really good shot at, at Chauvin getting off. And as Nima said, the other three not getting prosecuted at all. All right, we shall see.